Hi, it's Wayne from howtofish.com.au and I'm fishing here on the Yarra River near Eltham in the suburbs of Melbourne and I'm targeting anything today. Just getting out for a couple of hours, which we can do, you know, within the limits of five kilometres from your house. So just nice to be near the water. Fish can be caught all along the Yarra River. Starting near the mouth in the salt water near Port Melbourne, those estuary species, all the way up through Eltham where I am here today and beyond the freshwater species. The weather on the day was quite variable and at times I had to duck for cover as it rained, but I was checking out spots and seeing where it was worth fishing. One thing you can do when you explore a river is to walk along when you find a spot that could be holding fish, throw in something to attract them. Here I was throwing in my blood and guts burly pellets and throw in a couple of handfuls of those and then come back to that spot and fish over those pellets. Sometimes you can get a fish that way. After I'd been walking for a while, I found a spot with a bit of depth. Uh, it was quite wide and I thought I'd throw in some burley. The trouble being that I couldn't actually reach it throwing by hand. So I used some of my bite hard burley in a burley cage cast over it there to see if there's a fish waiting for a bait. Now the water here because of uh, all of the the rain is moving pretty fast so you've got to try and find a, an area where it's not moving as fast because the fish will want to stay out of that fast moving water because they can uh, conserve their energy so I have to cast right over to the other side there so there's a uh, there's an area over there where the water slows down a little bit but it's quite a decent cast and of course there's plenty of snag so you've got to be prepared to lose a bit of gear but uh, we'll just see how we go I know that I've um, should be reasonable a reasonable chance of at least having fish in the area whether I can get them to bite or not that's another thing the river's carrying a lot of water at the moment so what you've got to do is try and put something into the water that will attract fish to your bait. I was using my bite hard burley in a burley cage cast into the spot and that hopefully would attract the fish to my hook bait. It really helps to have a long rod when you want to cast a fair distance and when the water is pushing through pretty fast. By keeping the rod high you keep a lot of line out of the water so it's not affected by the current and you're able to keep your bait in place each time you cast and have more chance of hooking a fish. At one point it got really dark as the cloud came over and there was a bit of a rain. What was happening was I was getting little bites on the rod, very, very small bites. Nothing was actually taking the hook, but at least I knew the fish were in the area. The weather on the day was pretty amazing. At times it was overcast, very dark and threatening to rain. At other times the sunshine had come out and was absolutely perfect. There was even a rainbow to cheer me up. Finally, after about 45 minutes of getting small bites, I managed to hook into this one. This is a, a little roach, also known as a silverfish in Europe, and it's a member of the carp family. Not a big fish, but I was so happy just to have caught something. So the rig that I'm using is a, a 60 gram belly cage running down to a line stop. Then I've tied onto this my pre-stretched lightweight trace, 45 centimeters of that, and I've been using a size 14 hook. I started with larger hooks, but they were pulling the bait off, so I went down to a size 14 pre-stretched line, which is very, very fine. And what I was doing, I was, I was cutting two pieces of worm about a centimetre long and putting them on that. I then just dipped those worms into my fish magnet bait dip and that seemed to be the, the all-important trigger for getting the fish to actually bite. I took my time after I actually cast in to allow the weight to sink to the bottom and then I'd put the rod down as the line went slack so I felt that the burley and the bait 
were in the same spot each time. They were holding bottom, I wasn't pulling them away from my target zone. The combination of using a small hook with smaller bait, dipping that in a bait dip, using burly and having fine line really seemed to make the difference. Once I changed down in tackle to this lighter stuff, my luck changed and I bagged a few fish. Now that's actually a pretty good sized roach by by roach standards actually. Ah, so that's that's good. Happy about that. Just before I left and, and my two hours was almost up, I managed to, to hook another fish right at the end. There's nothing more satisfying than catching that fish just as you're about to pack up. Yes, it was another roach and it was even smaller than the other two, but I was still happy to have caught something. Going there on a tough day like this, new water I'd never fished before, catching a small fish like this is still great fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And for all the gear, the tactics I'm using, go to my website, howtofish.com.au. See you next time.